this video is all about finding the value of a when given a solved expression and a solved equation where you have square root of 3 whole number 1 and 3 over a equal to 3 square root of 3 all over a so now we are asked to find a now but before i proceed i need to appreciate my subscribers both old and new i also i want to appreciate my viewers i also will appreciate it if my viewers will subscribe like and comment and also share do well to share the video thank you now let's begin to solve this particular problem you have the square root of 3 3 all over a is equal to the square root of the 3 times the square root of 3 all over a so this expression is the same thing as saying now this is a fraction is a mixed fraction so what we're going to do to bring it to the top now this expression is just the same thing as saying the square root of 3 plus 3 all over a which is the same thing as 3 square root of 3 all over a so if you look at this this expression is the same thing as this. so next fraction so next fraction is the same thing as this. 3 whole number 3 all over plus 3 all over a so now making this is over 1. Making the denominator of this the same as the denominator of this. What we're going to do now is we multiply. We use this the value of the denominator. Multiply the up and the down. So we're going to have something like this. 3a divided by a is the same thing as 3. Plus 3 all over a. So this. Now for this, this other one. This square, this 3 is the same thing as the cube root of what? 9. Sorry, it's the same thing as the square root of 9 times the square root of 3 all over A. This is A, not, not 9. A. So now, this is a so now we have since it, the denominators are the same we just add the numerators so you have 3a plus 3 square roots so now and this one since this one has square root of 9 times square root of 9 according to the law of, um as only to sort rules if you have um, if you have square root of m times n is the same thing as the square root of m times the square root of n so we, with that we can now write write this in this in this form by saying the square root of 9 times 3 all over a now we now have the square root of 3 plus 3 all over a equal to the square root of 27 all over a because 9 times 3 is 27 so if you look at the if i look at if you look at these expressions now the denominators are the same now we have the square root like this so that means what is inside here should be the same so what we are going to do we equate the values inside the square roots which will now be 3a plus 3 all over a which is equal to 27 all over a now since the denominators are the same we equate the numerators which is 3a plus 3 equal to what 27 now moving this 3 to this other side you have 3 a equal to 27 minus what 3 
it's plus here. When it moves to this other side, it becomes minus. So this will give you 24. So that means you have 3a equal to what? 24. Dividing both sides by 3, you have a equal to what? 8. So this is the final answer. Thank you for watching till the end. I appreciate each and every one of you, both old and new subscribers. Thank you.